Hey, what's up, soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPot.com. Vibes and up in the kitchen as usual. Fish, pescatarians, you're gonna love me for this one here. Was in the fish market with my dad. Picked up a nice red snapper. You guys would have seen that on Instagram if you follow me on there at Caribbean Pot. So today, a snapper, a red snapper in the oven under half an hour, and you're good to go. Vibes it up, man. What's up soldiers? Don't forget to click subscribe if you've already clicked subscribe. Hit that bell notification thing. I want to all you missing out on the new videos, man. Come on, click. Here I have my snapper. It's already been washed with the juice of lime. Um, you can use lemon juice, you can use vinegar and water. And what we want to do is to give it some cuts. About every three quarter of an inch or so. And I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side as well. And that's going to help the sort of marinade to go deep into it. Then we're going to go pretty liberal with salt, trying to get all into those same cracks that we made, those cuts. Same on the other side. It's a very big, well, it's just over a pound, maybe about a pound and a quarter. So don't fret too much. We want to go all inside the cavity if you see it. You think I'm using too much salt, it is needed. It is a pretty big fish. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna get a bowl. We're gonna get a heaping tablespoon of Caribbean green seasoning. Let's go with about a tablespoon and a half. And we're gonna go in with some olive oil. And you wanna give that a really good mix. And Caribbean green seasoning is just a combination of herbs along with garlic and peppers that we like marinating our meats and fish and, and even in vegetarian dishes we use this as well and that is what we're going to use to marinate the fish we're going to pour some on the top and we're going to go in with our hands after and we're going to really massage that in then we want a, a whole bunch on the inside of the fish as well and you want to make sure you get it all up into the head and everything now the same recipe, if you wanted to do it with fish fillet, you can certainly do it with the fish fillets as well. So I'm just going to work that in. Flip it over and you saw the other cuts that I told you I was going to make. Just going to work all that in there. And there's thyme, scallion, parsley, pimento peppers, garlic, whole bunch of different things in my Caribbean green seasoning and I make it with olive oil. So you'll see it maintains and there's a nice big chunk of garlic. That bad boy is going to go on the inside there. And the recipe for the Caribbean green season can be found on CaribbeanPot.com as well as right here on YouTube and Facebook on my respective channels. I've got a nice deep roasting dish here now, something that's oven proof. And I'm going to go in with a couple tablespoons of olive oil. Then we're going to place the fish directly on that olive oil so nothing will stick as it bakes. I have some of that marinade here. I'm just going to pour it all over the vegetables. Then we're going to go in with some scallions, a fresh dose good black pepper a bit more salt on top of the, the tomatoes and the the Brussels sprouts and a bit more olive oil just to ensure that everything roasts up and we get some nice color out of it is giving everything a mix especially those vegetables which I really want the um, the Brussels sprouts to be coated with the olive oil mix everything up nicely tuck that fish in and then we're gonna go into 400 degree oven middle rack it's been sitting there in the marinade now for about 15 minutes closer to 20 minutes my oven is coming up to temperature now, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. If you wanted to add some spicy pepper to here, like a scotch bonnet or some 
um, habanero or anything like that you can add some totally up to you I'm cool with it as it is here middle rack once my temperature comes up to temperature and I'm gonna leave it open I'm not going to cover it yo kitchen smelling best real wicked Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. I think earlier I said red snapper. This is indeed a yellow teal snapper. A red snapper will work. Parrot fish will work. Your favorite fish will work. 25 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Then I clicked it for 5 minutes on the broil setting. And in my oven, that means 525 degrees. So I get all those nice charred bits on the on the Brussels sprouts of tomatoes. It's nice and sweet and bursting open. I finished it off here and you'll see some parsley. And I went in with some fresh lemon juice right at the end as I took it out of the oven. So in total, 30 minutes, the last 5 minutes broil. And you're good to go. A lovely, yo, man, I'm going to be enjoying this. And you see the bits of sort of juice at the bottom there if you have some bread or something bam bam dip that in there boy think self